And what advice would you give kids looking at a postgrad year? I would say um, find the best fit for you. Don't just go somewhere because of the nickname or the recognition that a certain school might have. Um, talk to the coaches. Make sure they uh, have your best interests in mind. Um, make sure you ask them what they're going to do to help you and what they also want out of you to do um, while you're there for that year. So expectations, um, ask them about their track record with similar people, similar athletes they've had before, because um, that's what got me to go to Tilton. And that's what I think people kind of miss out on when they just go somewhere because they might have playing time or they might have a cool jersey to wear. That's not the most important thing at all. And so just make sure the coaches and the school is right for you. Yeah, and Holman, that's what I said to everybody. That's what I said to you. That's what I said to your brother. Mm -hmm. You got to pick the coach, right? You're going to get all the benefits you mentioned. You're going to get homesick. You're going to play good competition. That's going to happen at every prep school you go to. But the big part's going to be basketball, as you mentioned. And to me, the coach is just the most important part of that whole process. For sure. And that's true with prep school and colleges, too. Even like you see it nowadays, players commit to a coach, not even the school. And so that starts in high school and prep school because that's who you're going to be trusting with your basically whole year. They have everything they can. The playing time is one thing, but just I think the more important thing is just trying to watch you improve over the span of the year. So starting with the fall workouts and the spring open gym sessions, just if the coach is there every single day looking out for you, you'll be okay.